Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Excellencies, heads of state, heads of government, ladies and gentlemen. It is an honor to deliver this statement on behalf of the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. In 1993, the WHO had declared TB as a public health emergency. Today, 25 years after, 1.7 million people in the world continue to die of TB. Of these, roughly 25,000 are Filipinos, enough to fill Madison Square Garden to full capacity. This is unacceptable. Not only does this jeopardize the Philippines' vision to be among the healthiest nations in Asia, but also compromises the country's goal of attaining middle income status by 2040. As one of the 22 high burden countries that account for 90% of TB cases globally, it is clear to us that business as usual will continue to kill millions needlessly. This high level meeting sets the global mood to do things differently, especially if we want to win this long-standing war against TB. For the Philippines, business not as usual means three things. First, recognizing the need to modify the social determinants of TB and the need for the health sector to step up its leadership. The country in 2016 signed into law one of the most comprehensive global laws on TB. And this created the High-Level National Coordination Committee, which consists of 17 secretaries or ministers of various government agencies and heads of five private organizations. This very well reflects the fact that TB is as much a socioeconomic issue as it is a health issue. Second, appreciating advances in TB screening, diagnosis, and treatment, we are scaling up rapid molecular tests as the initial diagnostic test countrywide. This entails setting up a strong sputum transport network throughout the country to link people who are positive on symptom and X-ray screening to laboratories with rapid molecular tests and be able to provide one-stop solutions so that patients do not have to travel long distances and incur catastrophic costs to seek definitive diagnosis. We are also making adoption of these technologies easier through purchasing of outputs rather than inputs by including TB care in our national health insurance program's list of reimbursable services. We have been able to expand services and improve access faster. However, a crucial step that we are keen to ensure is the strengthening of our primary health care system, wherein TB care is embedded. Finally, with a highly devolved and fragmented public health system, and with as much as a third of TB care rendered by the private sector, Managing our TB burden will only be possible with reliable information to hold key stakeholders and providers in particular accountable. Aside from enforcing mandatory notification of TB by all care providers as provided for in the 2016 TB law, we will be publishing performance reports in public domains. With this, we are confident and hopeful that we can find and treat at least 2.5 million Filipino patients with TB by 2020, reaching our target of 90% treatment coverage rate and contributing to the attainment of the SDG 2030 goal for TB. Today, let us all reaffirm our commitments to end TB by doing things differently, by collaborating more strategically, and by fighting more aggressively. Today, let us light up the world against TB with concrete, time-bound actions. Thank you.